Yo, what's good, YouTube? This is Jake from TNJ. And make sure you hit that like button. This episode, we are going up against a top 15 team in Duke. And we're looking at their top leaders here. Uh, their quarterback, Katrinik. I bet you his name gets mixed up with Kaepernick quite a bit. But look at this. Only through one game, this guy has 20 receptions, oh 192 God. yards, two touchdowns. So he had 20 receptions. I'm pretty sure that's an NCAA record for the most receptions in a game. That is insane. And he's only a 70 overall redshirt freshman. That is amazing. So look at the matchup going into this game. We are kind of, you know, close to be honest. We're kind of close matchup, matched up, but they got a victory versus Army and they barely did. Their quarterback, Katrinik, did throw three interceptions, so maybe we can capitalize on that. So let's hop into this game. Here we go, our first game at home here in season four as Alan King receives this kick and he's going to get a lane to the outside. And look, he's breaking away, but he's going to get tripped up at about the 50 yard line. So here comes Tyron Summers out onto the field, the leading vote getter right now in the Heisman race. He's gonna be looking to have a pretty big game. So here we go, starting out from the shotgun, both running backs in on this formation. Tyron Summers getting the handoff and he's breaking a tackle, breaking another tackle and moving his way inside about the 20 yard line on that 28 yard scamper already. So now we're set up already inside the 15 on two plays as Justin Johnson gets the middle screen and then Tyron Summers gets the handoff up the middle and he's picking up a first down. So now first and goal. Here's Kashawn Curtin throwing across the middle. That one's deflected. If that's on target, that's, in, that's a touchdown as he missed an opportunity on that one, but no problem. Tyron Summers getting the handoff, gain of eight on that. So third and goal at the one yard line, Jimbo Brown in to finish this drive off. And he gets in for the touchdown as Jimbo Brown actually having a pretty good start to this season as the backup running back as he's been involved a lot more in the offense. So here comes Katrinik out onto the field starting this game out, throwing the ball from the shotgun. And he throws that one off his back foot and still completes it. So now second and one, handing the ball off to Brown. And Brown is going to get ahead of steam and make it inside about the 45-yard line. Britton Brown on that carry. So now... Brown on the next carry, handoff from the shotgun, nine yards on that one, so second and one. Gonna hand it off, no, he's gonna fake it, Katrinik is gonna keep it on this one, read option, getting to about the 30 yard line, 12 yards on that one, so first and 10, running the screen play to the left, getting it out to Brown once again, but Wint can't get to Brown, and that's gonna be a touchdown, as Brown has too much quickness on that one, gets away from the tackle, and Wint misses an opportunity, and they get in for the touchdown on their opening drive as well. So now here is Summers. Had a pretty good opening drive to start it out, and he's continuing that, getting to the outside for a 13-yard gain. So second and 10. Throwing across the middle is Curtin, and Angel Gonzalez is going to hold on to that one for nine yards. So here is under center once again. Tyron Summers getting the handoff. Six yards on that one. He's up to 60 yards already. So on a second and 10, here's Tyron Summers getting a licking on that one. And he's getting four yards. So faced with a third and six. Here's Kashawn Curtin getting the pass completed over the middle. Angel Gonzalez first down for eight yards. So second and 10 inside of three minutes now in the first quarter. Here's Jimbo Brown using that power. And like I said, I've been trying to get him more involved in the offense as he's had quite a bit of carries, more than he did last year up to this point. As here's Tyron Summers. This strategy of running the ball is working versus this Duke rush defense. They can't stop it. So now on a second and eight, rolling out to the right, throwing out to Jack Clack. He runs over a defender, and he makes his way into the end zone for the touchdown. And that's a clean drive. I'm telling you, run the ball first, pass second. They don't know what's coming as we take the seven-point lead. So here is Katrinik back on the next drive, finding Brown coming off of that 20-reception game. And he gets the big reception on that one. So first and 10, throwing the ball out to the left side. That's Tony Walker for the four-yard reception. So now here is Brown getting another handoff, but this time he's not going anywhere. Nice penetration that time from Peter Gonzalez. So third and seven. Here is Katrinik from the shotgun. He's just going to throw this one away, and that's going to be the first punt of the game as Curtin takes back over, leading this offense. So now on a first and 10, facing some pressure. Where was the blocking on that? But we do get it away 
to Tyron Summers for the five yard reception. So third and three. A couple of plays later, getting it out to Tyron Summers, barely picking up the first, but that's enough as we move the chain. So now time winding down here in the first quarter, getting the ball out to Tyron Summers for a gain of five as we move into the second quarter. So now third and five, throwing out to the right side. That one's gonna be deflected, trying to get the ball out to Mike Harrison and two punts by both teams combined as we actually pin them inside the five yard line. So here is Brown starting this next drive out and he's breaking a tackle. He's gonna drag Chris Thornton there for five yards as we had an opportunity to keep them inside the five, but they pick it up. So now in a second and five, throwing the ball across the middle. This time it's Birmingham on the reception and he picks up 10 yards. So Katrinick from the shotgun, keeping this drive alive, throwing the ball across the middle. That one's gonna be Brown. almost picked off. Xavier Davis had an opportunity. This is his first time starting on the right side of the field this year as the number one corner as he had a pretty good, i say he had a solid season last year, but we're going to be looking for him to make big plays on the outside. He's got to come up with that. So we do stop him on a second down and on third and 10. They're running another screen pass, and this time the All-American Chris Thornton is there, but he misses the tackle, but he does force him out of bounds. Britton Brown for six yards and another punt once again for Duke. So now we come back on an offense. Here is Tyron Summers picking up another first down there on the 12 yard carry as he's at 100 yards already. So now first and 10 on the fake jet sweep, getting it out to Mike Harrison, the sophomore, as he's coming off a pretty good freshman season as he was the unexpected starter last year. He came on as a walk-on and he's doing pretty good on the outside. So here's Jimbo Brown picking up 17 yards on this carry as he's playing bully ball with this defense as he's up to 28 yards on four carries. But now on a third down, throwing the ball across the middle, and that is just an absolute great play. Look at this. Andrew Gonzalez has the touchdown, but that's knocked away on the diving stop, and we're going to have to settle for three on that drive. So here is Duke coming back out. Five minutes left here in the first half as his receiver does drop that pass. And now here's Katrinick throwing across the middle to his tight end, Noah Gray, and that's a first down gain of 10. So here's Katrinick back out on the next drive, throwing out to Noah Gray once again, eight yards on that one. So second and two, handing it out to Brown this time, and Brown is gonna pick up a couple of blocks and get to the outside, moving past the 50 yard line, gain of 16 on that one. So under four minutes left here in the first half. Here is Brown on the screen pass, breaking a tackle by Chris Thornton and moving the ball inside the 30 yard line as that's a nice play call on that one. Throwing the screen to the left side as they pick up the first down. So now first and 10, here's Katrinick lobbing the ball to the right side. He's gonna get smacked. And that's Noah Gray gonna get smacked by Xavier Davis. You don't see that much from the cornerback on that one. But we do get the stop there, but on a third and two, they try to run it with Britton Brown. And that's the All-American Chris Thornton there for the tackle for loss. And we do get them to settle for the field goal. So now we have to milk a little bit of time. So we're going to try to run this ball while also driving the length of the field. So here, Tyron Summers getting the handoff, putting a move on the defender. And he's picking up nine, and that's enough for the first down. So under two minutes left now, it's second and four. Here's Curtin. Out to pass, but he's gonna scramble on this one. He's gonna pick up a gain of nine, get out of bounds. Didn't want to stop the clock, but didn't want to fumble either. But he picks up the first down. So now second and four, throwing the ball across the middle on a play action jet sweep. And that's caught by Mike Harrison. So now a minute and 15 seconds left in this half. Facing some good protection this time. Curtin's gonna roll out to the right, throw across the middle, and that's Garrison Burnett, the 31 yard reception on that one. And Garrison Burnett gets it inside the one, and Jimbo Brown finishes it off, making it a 14 point lead here in the first half. But we did leave a little bit of time left, 30 seconds left about, as Duke comes back out, and catching it can't complete the first pass to Britton Brown and that's incomplete. So now they do have two timeouts left here. Third and 10, here's Kachanek running a four vertical, throwing the ball deep to the right side, and he's gonna find Brown. Wow, Brown is just sitting there waiting for the pass, and I think that was Cedric Granger in coverage. He can't recover, and this drive continues. So now on a first and 10, throwing the ball to the left side, and that's picked off. That's Orlando Norman. Wow, is he an interception machine on the left side of the field? Take another look. Brown drops this one, and Orlando Norman comes up with the interception there, keeping 
both feet actually inbounds and that sets us up going into halftime preserving this 14 point lead so now to start the second half here is catcher nick from the shotgun they do start it out with the start the half out with the ball but he's throwing the ball to the left side and that's joe brown once again so i see why joe brown had that big reception game that's all who he's throwing to in this game here is brown once again four yards on this one so now third and three at about the 30 yard line trying to run the ball this time birmingham is going to get stopped and that's Cedric Granger, the senior, the leader on this defense, as that's another tackle for loss in this game by this defense as they're balling out so far in this game as they do settle for the field goal. So now here's Tyron Summers back out have, after having a huge first half. He gets up the middle for a nice nine-yard gain. So here is Jimbo Brown. He's in this time seven yards up the middle. Once again, this rushing attack cannot be stopped in this game. Here's Kashawn Curtin on a first and 10. Rolling out to the right side. Going to find Angel Gonzalez on the run. And that's a gain of 18 on that one. So here is Curtin from the shotgun. Another play action jet sweep. And Angel Gonzalez going to get the catch and move this way inside about the 45-yard line for an eight-yard gain. So here's Tyron Summers on the handoff. And look at this hole. And Tyron Summers is back. I mean, so many yards gained so far and I got to contribute to this blocking I mean look at Jimbo Brown he's breaking a tackle I mean the blocking up front we're just dominating them up front as we are we have two running backs I think this is the first time I think last game I believe Jimbo Brown had 50 yards but this time he's definitely got it as he's in for his third touchdown of the game so far as he now makes it 31 to 13 here in the third quarter. So here is Katrinick getting it out to Tony Walker this time for eight yards. And so now here is Brown on the next play. We almost get Britton Brown in the backfield. He's breaking a couple of tackles. And that's a gain of 16 after we could have had the tackle for loss on that one. So now on a second and 10, throwing the ball out to Britton Brown. And that's Kenneth Ruff. And we've been waiting for him. He's a senior this year. We've been waiting for him to have some big plays, and that's a big one on that one. So facing a third and 14, getting it out to Brown, and that's another screen pass. And that's an easy stop for the All-American as we get them to punt the ball away. So now with this 31 to 13 lead, we're going to try to run the ball a little bit as Tyron Summers picks up two on that one. So now facing a third and seven, running a slant route across the middle. Angel Gonzalez is going to get overthrown. And we're lucky that Dylan Singleton only knocked that one down. He could have caught that one and probably still could have been running as we do have to punt the ball away to Duke. So here's Katrinick. Hasn't run the ball much in this game, but here on back-to-back -back plays, he's going to keep it himself this time. And he's picking up a first down on that one, a gain of nine on back-to-back -back plays. So now second and 10 here. The third quarter is winding down, throwing the ball to the right side, finding Jonathan Bennett up for 11 yards on that one. So now under 30 seconds left in this third quarter. Here's Katrinick rolling out to the right side. Doesn't have anybody to throw it to. And Paul Rafino, the freshman, gets in for the sack and the strip fumble as, wow, what a big hit. I mean, it sucks we didn't have somebody there to pick it up, but that's a big play as they lose a bunch of yards. And Katrinick actually gets hurt on that play. So that brings in the backup quarterback, Larson, as on his first pass, he completes the pass out before uh, picking up 10, but on a third down, look who's there. Cedric Granger, the leader on this defense, stops him for the first down. So now on a fourth and four, here is Xavier Bruh. Davis giving up a play over the top. And wow, Larson comes in at backup and he throws a straight dart that time to Walker and he keeps one foot in bounds. And that is a touchdown here for Duke, but we do have a little bit of time left, so we do need to run this clock as Curtin does run it himself, picking up the first down on that carry. So now Tyron Summers getting the handoff to the left side, and that's an oh, ankle breaker. Tyron Summers puts on a move on the cornerback that time and picks up another 20-plus yard run, and this is the most 20-plus yard runs he's had in his career here at Coastal as that is a first down as Jimbo Brown picks up where he left off Picking up a few yards on that one. So here's Angel Gonzalez on the jet sweep. And he's picking up eight yards. So, I mean, this rushing attack is just working this game. So we are not going to veer away from it. So here's Tyron Summers here for the eight-yard run up the middle. 
as this time continues to tick. So now on a third and four, here is Jimbo Brown with his best run of the game, in my opinion. Playing bully ball, he stays on his feet, goes through three tackles, and that's a touchdown on the nine-yard carry as that pretty much puts this game out of reach. But there still is two and a half minutes left in this game. And Duke does have a pretty good passing attack. Catcher Nick from the shotgun throwing the ball out to the middle of the field on the slant route and finding Jonathan Bennett for a 20-yard reception. So now we're closing in on two minutes left in this game. As here's Catcher Nick throwing to the left side, and Orlando Norman does not get turned around and gives up the big reception that time, 41 yards to Tony Walker. So now first and 10 inside the 25-yard line, throwing the ball across the Bruh. middle, and that's a four-vert play call by the offense and Brandon Jones misses his opportunity at an interception as this drive does continue so here is Birmingham getting the reception across the middle he's dragging his way to the one yard line 17 yards picked up on that one so first in goal here is catcher Nick he's gonna take it himself and he's gonna get the animation and he's gonna stiff arm his way inside for the touchdown and that is going to make it a 12 point game as they line up for the onside kick. So on the onside kick, here is Paul Rafino. As Paul Rafino, he shouldn't even be in on that. We had the wrong play call, but we do pick up the onside kick. So now, here is Jimbo Brown running the ball twice in a row, and that's gonna be it. We get them to use all three timeouts. That's all we had to do. And that's a easy kneel down as this rushing attack definitely won it for us as the defense actually balled out in this one. I think we are for real this year. We upset Duke at home. They had to come on the road to South Carolina. And man, what a game from this rushing attack. Jimbo Brown ran for 86. Tyron Summers ran for 212. Jimbo hogs all the touchdowns, though. He goes in for four. And, man, what a game from this defense. I like what I saw. There was a bunch of tackle tackles for loss in this game. As Cedric, Cedric Granger had two. Paul Rafino had two. Chris Thornton did his thing. Went did his thing as well. Xavier Davis had a good game on the outside. He gave up that big touchdown. But besides that, he had a pretty good game. Allen King did a good job. I mean, it was just all around a really good game from this defense. As, you know, we started running different packages, putting different people in. Derek Armstrong was in a lot in this game as he made a difference but didn't really show up on a stat sheet, but he, did, he made a difference. But looking at their offensive side of the ball, I mean, they didn't really rush the ball too much, but Brown once again went over 100 yards. He had five receptions from 109 as Walker had 72 yards as well. So we dominated this game, I think, in my opinion. This was a great win as we beat an ACC school at home, and I think this is the start of something great. So hit subscribe, hit that like button. We are going back in the conference play, going up against Louisiana Monroe, so you don't want to miss any of that action. So hit subscribe, hit that like button. This is going to be a good season. I can feel it, so stay tuned. Let's get it. Let's go.